to me, do your thing is, it's kind of like, I guess what all artists wish to do. I'm uh, mostly a commercial artist. I do more work for for hire, for projects. I'm a creative director, art, uh, graphic designer. So I work for, you know, if I'm designing a record, I have to put my mind in the mindset of the music I'm, I'm trying to design and things like that so so do your thing sounds exciting you know just do whatever you feel natural so it's kind of exciting to when when you get in this work mode and you get with clients and trying to fulfill the necessity of a client to to be able to do your thing so i'm really looking forward to this whole in indio do your thing the heritage my you know, latin cultural culture or, or being a bicultural person it's really It's really important for me, for my work, for being in California. I think it's de is definitely a part of what I do. You know, I, I definitely, I think you can see it. You know, it's very important for my, even also for my clients. And, and it's when they, it, it's a plus being, a, having the Latin background, the, that heritage, being a bicultural person. So I think it definitely permeates my work at one point or another. So I think it's definitely, it's definitely there, it's very important. I had a clothing line for years that was very popular in Mexico. It was called Naco, and the whole thing was celebrating our, our heritage, but it was more about slang, you know, things we would say in the streets, uh, things you would hear, uh, being modified from generation to generation, we would celebrate that, Basically, it was a celebration of popular uh, culture and our heritage. So it's definitely been in my work for years. And, and the work I did for that brand definitely uh, got me to know a lot of people and opened a lot of doors for me. So I'm very grateful for that work because it did open a lot of doors for me. The brand came a little later in my life. I'm from the northern part of Mexico. So, so we weren't that exposed to the brand. But I remember traveling in Mexico and it was really excited to see these other brands that weren't our typical brands, right? That we would find in the, in the corner market. So that's how I started being exposed to Indio. And the fact that, that Indio is supporting, you know, artists and, and letting them do their thing and just supporting their visions and their creativity, I think it's fantastic. You know, I, I, I think we live in a, in in a world where where brands are a huge huge part of of our everyday lives and, and for brands to take the the time and say i'm gonna give it back or trying to connect the loop with with uh this artist or or these kids do these latin kids doing things in the in the u.s i think it's very exciting